So I finished up recording yesterday, waiting for the uh, the Halloween event on Tower. Uh, and I was like, I don't know when it's launching, I know it's ready, but whatever. I'll make a video when it comes out. Of course, once I finished recording, like an hour later, uh, it came out. So we're going to check out a few of the things. I've seen like little bits and bobs of this. Uh, but we're going to mainly be going like around the plaza, seeing like what they added. Um, but let's just kind of like go over the change log and like what's going on. So they had a plaza update. So the lighthouse area looks uh, a little bit different. I saw it. It looks awesome. There's a new store, uh, C store where you spend your C dollars, um, improve lighting, uh, updated typing derby looks, so I'll have to remember to look at that. Uh, they polished up some uh, weapon effects and like uh, all that kind of stuff, like in Virus, same thing for Zombie Massacre, uh, new model for a Ghost and Little Crusaders, um, just kind of stuff like that, a few like little bug fixes, a few new uh, condo materials, but I'll just hop right into it go on and I always love the Halloween events in tower uh, there's usually a gigantic hedge maze which makes me quite the happy boy so let's hop into East 2 I guess and do that uh, if you've never played an event for tower before uh, just play the game you're gonna get things called ghoul coins for Halloween and they have like winner tokens and winner and all that and you'll be able to buy exclusive stuff just for uh just for the season and everything looks a hell of a lot better and stuff Trick or treat, 1,000 XP, got me some chocolate milk. I found, there's 131 jack-o'-lanterns we gotta find. Oh boy. Uh, let me just kind of get like this building out of the way and we'll move from there. But yeah, you're gonna see like little quests on the map and stuff to do. Uh, I don't remember there being as many quests last year. But who knows. But there's just a bunch of stuff in the plaza to pick up and so many things to find. So uh, let's let's pick up ourselves some jack o' lanterns, and we'll do the interesting thing in a second. But I just want to get these while they're here. Hopefully they're not too hard to find past a certain point. I know they will be, but that's okay. Let me get all the ones surrounding the center here. Oh boy, that was some lag. But yeah, good morning. I'm just very excited to play this event right now. I love it. Very very much. Uh, tower events make me very, very excited, usually. Oh, there's a ghost hunting event in six minutes? Alright. Well, let's get this uh, this quest here. It should be one for finding a lost puppy. Find the lost puppy. The store is closed. I can't find my little pup. She's poking around the shrubs back at home. You want to buy something? How can I run my store with my little pup? Alright, so the puppy is usually in a hedge maze, which uh, we'll look at in a little bit. But first, I want to check out this ghost hunting game. Coming in in like six minutes. So uh, we shall do that. Although, actually, you know what I should do? Because we're going to have ghost hunting coming. Let's go to the full server. But just so we can have as many people in the minigame as possible. Like, the server has 50 people in it. It might make the video a little bit laggier. Because, like, some people are going to be in the server. And, like, the, this game uses up a lot of CPU sometimes for me. But, I feel like it would be very beneficial to do, like, a ghost hunting minigame. Uh, with, hopefully, a bunch of people. So, let's just let this load in a bit. There we go. And we should hopefully be okay. Because we got five minutes. Uh, I'm stuck. There we go. Right, so I guess we're just going to like hunt down pumpkins for now. Uh, I don't know like how many more quests there are. Uh, I know of at least three now. Bare minimum of three. It's also really cool to see so many people on right now. But uh, Pixel Tail always does such a good job. With their uh, with their events, like they bring a lot of life to the game. They're very very good at it. And uh, let me tell you, it's a hell of a lot better than uh, Dead by Daylight's event this year, which would be my main game. At least over on Twitch. So it makes me happy seeing a developer uh, put on good events. What if they put like any pumpkins in here? Nah. But for now, we get 131 pumpkins to find. It shouldn't be too bad. They're pretty much, like, you know, in your face with them. But yeah, good morning. We got four minutes to kill before we look at, like, all the other, like, really interesting stuff here. And before I can show off, like, the item store and all that, because I gotta find the puppy. Which might take me, like, five or ten minutes. But that's okay. I'll give you, like, the, the zoom out as I, uh, do this. But in the back corner now, 
uh, there's a hedge maze that comes in like every Halloween event, and you just gotta go through the maze and find the puppy in the center that's kind of glowing there. Uh, but they make it so you can't fly in there, so you can't just like fly to the middle. Like you gotta run through the entire maze and find your way to the end. Uh, easier said than done. It is not the uh, easiest maze to get through. Uh, I'll have criticisms for it when I get there. <laughs> That'd be like, yo, Pixel Tail, you should consider this next year. I'll uh, definitely chime in on that. But I always love doing the hedge maze. I can't remember if it was like last year was the first time I did it or two years ago. I think it was last year was the first time. Because I think Lobby 3 is like only like, what, like a year and a half old? I lose track of time, so I don't even know anymore. We have three minutes still. Hopefully I'll have like a hundred and like ten or hundred fifteen jack-o'-lanterns found by then. Man, this game's frame rate's awful on a full server. <laughs> so sorry if the video is like super jumpy right now. Uh it's actually not my recording software, it's actually just the game itself. It's a big reason like why I always kinda like go to like empty plaza servers when I record. Because the frame rate becomes very, very bad. Incredibly poor, like with um a lot of players. Which is what it is. Got you, we got 70. Wonder if I'll find them all. I didn't even like plan on doing this entire quest. I didn't even know this is actually no, I did know this is a quest, I didn't realize there's 131 of them though. But I'm sure we'll find most of them. Yep, we got some going up to the water slide. Easy peasy. And they're like, up, up, no? That's it? That's it? Wow, okay. So I discovered all of these. Did I discover this one? I did. Okay. Well, now we gotta go this way. Oh, I wonder if they'd have, like, any on Project 12. That'll probably be the final spot I look at. What a lag spike. Oh, and of course, by the stores, I should do that too, huh? I like the ambiance in the background right now. No, I don't want to go in your seat. No trick or treat from me. Feels bad. Oh, oops. Find. No sit, just find. There we go. I doubt they'll put any in the stores. Oh, how did I miss this one? Oh, and trick or treat right here? Shit. I missed, like, some pretty obvious ones. Oh, and there's, like, separate XP for the Halloween event, too? I saw that pop up on the bottom. Alright, I was aiming for, like, 100 before the, uh, minigame popped up. That's looking like it's not happening. That's fine. Because what we got? We got 27 seconds until, um... The minigame. Then after the minigame, I'm definitely going to an emptier server for a smoother experience. 100%. Five seconds left? Okay. Oops. Well, I guess it's time to go to the minigame. So this is ghost hunting, so is it just like balloon fight? Oh, it is. Not balloon fight, but balloon shoot. It totally, it totally is. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be. That's cute, though. That's a nice little touch. Even if it's just simply like a reskin, I can dig that. I wanted to go to a full server for this because I was like, maybe it's gonna be some like chainsaw death match or something. I wasn't sure. So I totally could have just done this like on an empty server. And I had to worry about the uh, the lag. Oops. I'm great at aiming. Never doubt me. Two, three, four, five, easy.
But I must get all the shoots, all the shots. I can't remember if there's like a mini game, like achievement for um, Go Shoot either. I know they have like a few like uh, holiday specific mini game achievements. I don't know if this is one though. You, you. I'm nowhere near the top. I'm actually towards the bottom of the leaderboard. I'm going very slow. It's probably painful to watch, I know. Boy, man, it's almost my birthday. We come in 29. My reaction time just is not there. Yep, okay, yeah, so there is a mini game specific achievement for it. 100 Ghost Shot. Cool. I know they added like a bunch of Halloween achievements in, but I wasn't sure like what. It's like a 45 seconds, oh dear. Jeez, that was like a little streak. Now I'm in dead last. How are people such gods at this? I make up for my badness yet? Where'd I rank? Not even the top 10. <laughs> I'm so trash. Alright, I gotta go, um... Oh, I got a gold coin in the bottom right. Um, I'm gonna swap servers to a more empty one, just so the game plays a little bit smoother. Just a tad bit. Too many people, dude. We're just getting started with this video, too. This might be a long video, honestly. Because I kind of want to check, like, everything out that I can. Um, let's see. Let's go to my collection book. What do we have for, like, Halloween-specific achievements? Like, anything crazy? We do. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Find the ghost little pup. Buy every ghoul uh, ghoulsery item? Okay. Uh, befriend Halloween characters, collect 100 ghoul coins, deliver 50 remains, deliver 100 remains, uncover 10 hidden bones in the plaza, collect 50 candy, find the haunted treasure, open a Halloween cat sack, which is coming soon, I know you can get one right now, and find all 131 jack-o'-lanterns for 25,000, okay. Dude, Pixel Tail's just killing it, man. Like, this is like how you do an event. Like, when you, like, lay out achievements like that, like, it's very obvious, like, how much stuff there is to, like, do in this event and just kind of kill the time with. And I love it. Uh, we're gonna do the maze soon. We're gonna keep hunting for pumpkins, then we're gonna go ahead and do the maze. My favorite pumpkin being, uh, David Pumpkins. David S. Pumpkins. He has a middle name now. My jetpack is not working. We gotta re-enable that. Uh, jetpack. What do we got? Yay! Oh. Will they put, like, anything in Oasis, maybe? Oh, they do have, like, a pumpkin outside of- a few pumpkins outside of Oasis. Everyone's got, like, a little candy. Okay. More pumpkins. Any more? I'm pretty sure I got, like, all these outer pumpkins here. What is that? Is that just sand? That's just sandcastles. Pumpkins aren't going to go up there. Pumpkins go up to the, uh, to the new lighthouse. We might as well show the new lighthouse. Did I get everything, like, around this lake? I did not. Hello. I cannot become complete until my bones are found. My bones are in many places. Some in darkness. Oh. Lobby 2, I miss Lobby 2 so much. Badly laid out, poorly optimized, too large, and poor loading times taken out back and job. See, I'm upset about this. Listen, Pixel Tail, Lobby 2 is my favorite lobby. I don't hate Lobby 3. I love Lobby 2, though. I would love to see, like, a Lobby 2 condo or something. As laggy and poorly optimized as it was, I thought the layout of Lobby 2 was a lot more fun to kind of traverse. I love it. Um, it could just be the nostalgia talking, I don't know. 
but I will always prefer Lobby 2 over Lobby 3. And I really like Lobby 3, so... Alright, well, first let's look at this. This is the new sea shop. Where you can buy stuff with your, uh, your beautiful sea dollars here. So that's the new one. It's just, like, out in here in this, like, little cave. I was wondering, like, maybe if they hid bones down here, but I guess not. Now let's go up to the new lighthouse. Which, in my opinion, looks so much better. Especially once we go inside it. This is one of the few things I have seen from this event. And while I'm at it, I just want to check back. What is this? Why is there a pumpkin just floating right here? Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, and by the way, all the water is, like, blood red. If you haven't noticed yet, we're swimming in the Kool-Aid, yo. <laughs> Let's go inside. Yeah, here's, like, the new little lighthouse. Like, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. Everything looks green from out there. Okay, cool, dude. I don't know, I just love this. Soon, Maze. We'll be in there soon. Very, very soon. Yes, let's get our movie theater jack-o'-lanterns. Perfect. Oh, I have an idea on one where like a sneaky spot for one would be. I wonder if they'd be uh wonder if uh Pixeltail would actually like hide a uh pumpkin in the dinosaur cave. Hello. I want a candy apple, please. Why? Why not? Thank you. Oh crap. Oh, good thing I went in there. I didn't think they'd actually have like any in the stores. Oh. I was uh, not expecting that. Oh, our skeleton friend's gone from the corner because we can just buy stuff uh, after we find the lost pup. Oh yeah, here's the updated typing derby. That looks pretty good. That's not bad. That's a nice like little touch. Was it crazy needed? No. But cool. Oh, and the Poseidon coaster is orange. Nice little pumpkin colors. Cool, cool. Really not much to not like so far, really. Besides, like, the little, like, lag spikes I'm getting here and there, which I kind of expect. Alright, so now I'm wondering. Would they put a pumpkin in here? I think this dude had the same idea. They did not. Wait. Bones. Okay. We got like jack o' lantern stuff up here we can find. Any more bones? Bones? This stuff isn't that hard to find. Which makes me kind of happy. Because this is not feeling like a crazy grind. At all. This is just like feeling like fun and like, it, you know, encouraging you to like explore the plaza, see like all the new stuff they updated. I'm pretty sure that's probably what their goal was, too. But I can feel it. I can dig it. I wonder if they'd have, like, any uh, jack-o'-lanterns on the, um, on the dock. Or, like, any bones down here. I mean, they almost assuredly have some just kind of, like, chilling on the beach. Maybe in the game world hub as well, let's say. No. Okay. We got anything out over here? Nothing on the docks. Wow, okay. Maybe on the outskirts over here? Hmm. Uh, what is this? What? Has this always been here?
I need to know what this is. I'm nervous. What? I want to do it again. Has this always been here? <laughs> oh my god, this is really cool. But what is this? <laughs> I don't know if that's always been there or not. If it has been, I never noticed. If that's always been there, that's so cool that I discovered something new. Because I never thought like I'd discover like another new thing in the plaza. Hmm. Now where could the rest of the pumpkins be? Maybe like going into laser tag? No. Hmm. Surrounding the arcade? No. Maybe in the other stores? I have my doubts. But if Gulero, uh, the, the groceries are, I almost said Gulero, sorry. But if grocery had them, maybe? Oh, hi. Maybe like more stores have them? Maybe like up here by the nature store? No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I found like a good bit of them though. Maybe going down like into the subway. New. Also, still got like eight more piles of bones to find as well. I know where one pile of bones are though. I do know where one is. So my good buddy Blade get him. Frankie the hot dog. Wait, what? Twenty 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 three. No. Sebastian pet watermelon. No. To you players. No canvas. Oh. Not canvas, not set. Back end. Oh man. Dude, there's like so many like so many like nice little touches here. I love this. Yeah, I love this a lot right now. <laughs> um Oh, you know what? If I was a dick and I was a developer of Pixel Tail, I would hide. Um, some shit over by the secret room, over by the dev room, which is, where's the vent? Not really, where's the vent for it? Oh, I still haven't checked Project 12 either. So if I was a dick, I would hide stuff in here. But I don't think Pixel Tail is as much of a dick as I am. If they are, I'll be very impressed and very happy. But now they're not as much of a dick as I am. Okay. What a shame. Yeah, Project 12, let's go. Wait, have you could could you always like look inside the windows here? I never noticed this, or I did, but I just like never bothered like getting like a getting a close up. Huh? I was like noticing like all the little details I just never noticed prior. Hmm. I see no pumpkins up here either. I wonder if they like oh they could be in the maze. Well, I know a pile of bones is in the maze. I don't know about the pumpkins, though. So we're gonna go in. Alright, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna go left, right... Wait. I wish I could just, like, hover. 
Screw it. I, I can't do this for like a minute and a half, two minutes, just trying to find the way through. We're gonna roll with it. Here's the maze. Found some more bones. But in the center is gonna be the puppy, and the puppy is going to unlock the uh, the actual store for the event. A dead end. I've not gone this way yet. Oh, let's go on through the middle. Nope. This way. Um, maybe up through here. No. This way? That's dead end. Ooh, this is gonna backtrack me a bit. And this is just a dead end if I've already been to, right? Yeah. What if it's gonna be the same solution as last year? Last year had like a very easy solution. Because all you have to do is go to like the Steam guides and like they just like highlighted the path for you. Well someone did. And as a very lost person, I very much appreciated it. I'm back where I started. That's the first pile of bones. I managed to backtrack all the way. Oh, that's unfortunate. We might be here for like 10 minutes, by the way. Like, this maze is not easy for me. Last year was a pain. I did actually end up succumbing to a guide. I could not figure out and I kind of wish pixel tail right like if they do these head mages like every year I wish they would just kind of like put like little markers in just like maybe like a skeleton head sticking out like one place or like a pumpkin in another just like little like places to kind of notate okay you've been down this path right but very subtle maybe like a small like little discolored portion of like you know the other uh, brush here Is little, little minor, minor things. If I ever see people walking out of the area I was just in, that means it's not the solution. So I feel like I just kind of did the same area twice in a row. Let's see. Okay, so this should lead us back to basically the start now. Yeah, so is there like a different starting path I could take? Yeah, like maybe like more up this way. Hmm. Such a lost boy. Dead end, dead end, okay. I will say though, they take their mazes very, very seriously. Like, I can appreciate that. Although I do kind of wish they wouldn't, like, lock the, um, store behind it. I guess it's just, like, more of, like, a preference thing. Feeling good. Well, feeling better than it was. Maybe I'm finally making progress? Maybe. Oh, yeah, yep, this is center. We did it. Hey! Every puppy in existence is inferior to me. I am a puppy. I am surprised you made it through the labyrinth. Why, hello there. How lovely it is to be a puppy. That's the exit. Okay. Cool. I did it. What is this? Ooh. Oh, these are the remains of the damned. You bring these to the cauldrons. Alright, and I guess they're just gonna spawn on the beach. 
And you get an achievement, I think, for getting like a hundred of them. So if they're all on the beach, that means I probably like want to loop around this way. Because if I can just keep getting more like on these areas of the beach, that'd be great. And a trick-or-treat event starting soon, too. Cool, man. Which is probably just going to be the, the pails out, right? Oh, yeah, look at all these remains. Perfect. I'm going to gain riches if I give this cauldron a bunch of bones? Dude, I'm down. What did I get there? Like, ten? Yep, candy's been placed all around the plaza, so now I can collect that. I can turn in the puppy. I still gotta find a bunch of bones. A whole bunch of bones. What was that one? No. Alright then. There's my trick-or-treat stuff. Let me just get it while I'm here. A nice, easy, quick XP for the event, too. Plus 1,000 for every one of those pails I get. Cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, so we got, like, all the items from, like, prior years and new years here. This is where you can spend your gold coins that you get, which I have 11 of right now. Noise, but I think that's, like, just some holdover from last year. And here's the new stuff we got. We got an ant head. Uh, we got a bat. A lot of these are wearables. The bat pet, a wearable ant head, a wearable bat hat, a bat plushie, a candy corn plushie, which I kind of want, uh, a crow pet. I definitely want the crow pet. A fly head wearable, an eyeball stalk wearable, Halloween cat sacks, um, an orbiting moon pet, which is 30. I definitely want that. A wearable robot box, very much like the Cartman episode of uh, South Park. Where you became a robot, a witch plushie, and a, a witchy witch hat, which is a wearable. It's cool. That's all the new stuff here. Let's get some uh, remnants to this cauldron. Alright. Second, you speak, you have a vision of a man hanging from the neck, dancing upon nothing. You stare at the cauldron. The cauldron lets out a shattering laugh as you speak to it. To where it came from. We got falling leaves. We got a haunted TV. Eyeballs, cleavers. Alright, that's all my remnants. Alright. Oh, here's some more of the jack o' lanterns. At least one of them. We're 10 short, though. We gotta find 10 more jack o' lanterns and 8 more remains. I don't think they'd put, like, any up in the, like, top of the buildings. I think they'd make it, like, like I feel like they'd make it accessible to, like, anyone with or without a jetpack. That's what I feel. I don't know if, I don't know if that's accurate. But, like, that would be, like, my guess of, like, what they would do. But, I mean, I could be so totally off base, it's not even funny. I'm not Pixel. I don't know nothing. Um. Just gonna wonder where um. This stuff is right now. Frank, you're looking cute as hell, dude. With that nice little uh, nice little bad hat. Nice, man. Alright. So what do we got? Anything else? Ooh, jumpy. We get a nice little jumpy jumpy. I don't think they'd put, like, anything in the arcade, though. I gotta check the other stores some more. I think that's pretty important. Then we also have a Halloween character visit soon. Oh, here we go. I don't know how I missed those two. 
That's my bad. Oh, even more. Pa oh my god, there's a lot of pails there. Ah. I'm getting stuck in a lot of chairs right now. Holy crap. Give me this XP, dude. Dude, it's everywhere. I love it. <laughs> Give me it all. Alright. Anyways, back to the uh, the topic at hand. We got ten more pumpkins. I'd probably also hide remains. In, like one of these like little areas too, possibly. But nah, I guess not. I think I want to keep going until uh, we have the Halloween character visit. At the very least. So let's scan around for some bones. Hope we can find some stuff. I'd imagine they're using like every square inch of uh, the map right now for this stuff. I'm probably most likely going to finish this event this year. I'm probably going to get everything. Hopefully. If I play enough. I should. Oh, here we go. Pumpkin. We got seven more to find, though. Oh, oh wow, there's a few here. Hell yeah. Six. Five. Beautiful. Hmm. Let's be very, very thorough. Nothing by the guard tower. Okay. The fact that I have so many more bones to find kind of worries me. Because I've made, like, no progress on that, I feel like. Anything back here? No. Oh, we got zombie hunters. Minutes in the future. Uh, Rob the import guy. Oh. Turned to a phone by a dark wizard. I miss Rob. Sally the spider. I hate Sally the spider. Hmm. We got plushy there. I don't think they'd put, like, anything in the theaters, though. Right? Like, I'd imagine, like, this is all, like, a completely separate thing from the event. Unless they would hide stuff in the arcade and, like, stuff like that. Because, I mean, technically you're getting Plaza XP. In the arcade and stuff. So maybe they'd sneak it in there? Like, maybe? I don't know about that. A body up here. What we got here? We'll check the arcade. We'll see if they rethemed anything in here. I just have my doubts. Yeah, arcade doesn't look like they updated anything. So I'd imagine we're not going to find anything beyond that Metal Gear Solid box there. Being a trivia. Okay. Still possible, though. I mean, we still got to check the casino. We'll see. I still doubt it. I'm telling you right now, if they, they hide stuff like where jetpacks, you know, can go, the best hiding spot would be on top of the chandelier. Uh, in there. Or not chandelier, but like up here. This has been like the perfect spot for like a body. Um. Not that like I'm an expert at body placement. I'm just saying though. 
be a good spot for it. I kind of wish they put something up there, though. Like, it's there, but there's, like, no purpose. Bowling alley, maybe? Let's see. That's all my doubts. Yeah, no. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I have an idea for, like, where one could be. What about on top of the roller coaster? What about that? It's a long shot. And I was wrong, but that's okay. Maybe in the tunnel, though. New. No. I hope you a really cool touch, too. If for Halloween they change the Poseidon stuff, like, into, like, just, like, flames of hell in there. Just, like, do, like, a big fire graphic. That would be kind of, like, a nice touch, too. Not like it would really matter much. And most people that play this game would not even notice that. But that could have been, like, a really nice touch. Hmm... What am I missing? What am I missing? Not like what am I missing, but like where am I missing it? Hmm. I just looked in the game chat and they said Mr. Big IQ headass near the casino. So I'm going to assume that's going to be our character visit. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's the only rational part with this emergency. There's ten characters. Emergency light. Okay. I guess, like, now we're down to, like, checking on top of the buildings. Ooh. Is that That's just one of the hidden animals, right? Yeah, it's just one of the hidden stuffies. Um... I feel like I've, like, exhausted, like, all the areas that seem right for these hidden things. I don't know where to look anymore. There's a few more stores I can stop in. Whether or not that would account for, like, five pumpkins? And, like, seven bodies? Probably not. But there's no harm in looking. Nope. Nope. So yeah, the chat just said there's like some in the stores. There we go. All of a sudden there's only four more to get, dude. Wait, train set in the counter in the toy store? Dude, I'm getting all the deets right now. I was even looking around, I didn't see him. Oh my. I'm getting spoils of the great hunt. But I would have never checked the toy store again, honestly. <gasps> oh shit, you're right. <gasps> that one's facing away, so you wouldn't even know it was lit up. There's two left now. <gasps> oh, that's dirty, dude. You can't really go in there. Only two left. Can I find them? No bodies in the tent. Or going up against, like, the edge here. I feel like I'm, like, overthinking the locations, like, they put some of these things in. Like, dramatically. 
But now they know they can be in stores. Did I check Oasis? Oasis, where are you? Doesn't look like there's anything in Oasis. Yeah, no. Okay. Now I gotta give, like, the other stores, like, a nice, like, once-over. Oh, and inside this house, too. Like, there's two houses here. Yeah. Easy minigame points. Nope. Did I just get a gold coin? I did. Lovely. Nothing. It has to be store stuff, right? Have to be. We gotta be very, very thorough. Even though I've already been in here, we gotta be extra, extra thorough now. New. No. Rob, how can you, like, not import a pumpkin? Wait, what? That threw me off, the fact that I can do that. Alright. We already got this one of sweet furnishings. Anything behind? No. Nothing in the condo store. Nothing else in here. Okay. We've been very thorough with DIY. I think I've been thorough enough with the, um, the subway. I see nothing that would suggest anything is down here. I can go back into Horizon Condos. Not Horizon, but, like, Tower Condos. Um, I doubt it, though. You yeah, know, this is untouched. I could re-recheck Project 12. I find it kind of weird that they did nothing with Project 12, actually. This seemed like a prime location. Hmm. This video was just, like, supposed to be, like, a big, like, you know, like, look at the update and, like, what they added, and now it's just kind of become, like, hunting for a pumpkin for, like, 30 minutes, but you know what? I'm cool with that. I'm A-okay with that. Y'all might not be okay with that, but I'm okay with it. Oh, you know what? In the train. Train station. I haven't looked up here at all. Not at all did I look up here. And for good reason, because there, there ain't shit there. <laughs> there ain't nothing. The bodies, nothing. Hmm. Even back here, we found nothing. We've been up against the roller coaster and found nothing. Could they have been cheeky and put like some like under the docks here? Cause I mean you could technically like just jump up and like look behind there. Which is all I was thinking, like maybe just maybe. Get some there, but no. Nothing around back here. Hmm. Dude, I'm gonna go insane. Looking like for these, uh, like, last things. Oh, man. Like, I don't want to give in, but I gotta call it in a minute. Plus, this video's already 50 minutes long. Oh my god. Um... 
Looks like I'll go to the next Halloween character visit, which is in five minutes. I'm pretty sure I've searched and found every pumpkin that surrounds this pool. Pretty sure I missed none. Almost positive. Like, it's a lot of purple here. Like, you'd be able to tell just, like, from their, uh, from their little faces. Being all yellow. Oh, there they are. I'm so dumb. I did not find them all. Now I found them all. Hell yeah. Worth it. I gotta find, like, the bodies. I'm not gonna go crazy looking for the body right now. Um, let me see. Let me go to the collection book really quick. Find the haunted treasure. I don't know where I'd find that. 50 candy. Okay, that's random. 10 hidden bones. Deliver 100 remains. I can only do that so much. Same thing with 50 remains. 100 gold coins. Only can do that so much. Um, yeah, so I can't really do much more here outside of like waiting for the events to pop up and also going crazy. For stuff. I still gotta buy all the ghoul grocery stuff though. There's a lot. I have zero owned on many of these. In fact, I have zero owned on all of them. I bought some stuff last year though. Huh. Well, I'll need like 200 ghoul coins, I'll tell you that much. Good luck to me getting those. And now I guess it really just kind of comes down to finding the bones, wherever that would be, uh, wherever that may be, and finding the hidden treasure. Which, I mean, if I'm gonna, like, hide treasure in this game, it would probably just be underwater. Which means it won't be underwater. Guaranteed. Where would you hide treasure? Well, we found the secret room. Unless, wait, unless you think they might have it, um... Uh, like, actually hidden, like, under the ground. I think it's possible they do that. I'll just give, like, a quick sweep. Then I'll, like, relook at the patch notes, see if I missed anything important. And we'll call it. Yeah, it's not looking like they would have. Yeah, I feel like this isn't right. But just for the sake of saying I did this, I'm just doing it. Yeah, no. Okay then, well I guess we're going to look at the patch notes one more time, see if I missed anything important, and kind of call it on a video here. Uh, this this update's great though. I kind of love this. I love it like when they do this stuff. Um, sea store, okay, so we looked at the new lighthouse, we looked at the new sea store, updated type of derby look, I looked at that. Improved windows effects on the, oh that is what I noticed, that was new. I wasn't sure if that was always been there or not. But that's like what I noticed like when I was flying up the tower and it looked like all the rooms looked a lot more clear and defined. Um, better stuff and virus, polishing passes on Zombie Massacre, new ghosts and little crusaders. So like nothing like really desperate to look at. Alright, so I think I um I covered most like the really important stuff here. So I guess we're going to call the video here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I'll keep chipping away at this event as much as I can. I'm going to have, like, no more videos really focused on the event, just because, you know, only so much I can do uh, with this. I gotta, like, wait, like, on time-sensitive stuff to kind of pop up when it pops up. Cool. But uh, I'm sure you'll see me doing some more stuff in the event over, like, the next week or two. Uh, Y'all have a great day. And have, uh, toodles, y'all.